In many places, wells drilled through gravel or rock are the vital source of fresh water. Drilling a well requires a considerable investment in time, effort, and money. As a result, the well, along with its water resource, represents an extremely valuable asset. Over time, however, most wells will experience a diminishing yield, or even dry up completely. Until recently, this often meant drilling entirely new wells, something that could only be done at great expense. But today, thanks to Flatwater Fleet, there is an alternative, a unique system of well servicing tools and techniques that permit existing wells to be developed. Hydro fracturing, water jetting, and airlift pumping. By these proven methods of injecting pressurized water or air into a well, both the aquifer and the well can be rejuvenated and production restored or improved quickly and at a fraction of the cost of drilling new wells. Flatwater Fleet has built a worldwide reputation based on these kinds of innovations. The company specializes in complete systems integrated equipment designed to address the specific needs of well drilling and servicing operations. The equipment is modular. It can be configured to meet the specific needs of a job or customer. Flatwater Fleet's remarkable line of pump service rigs, well tenders, and well development units have been proven in a wide range of applications on five continents. Flexibility is the other hallmark of this equipment. Beyond well servicing and support, these systems can be used for material transport, water hauling, mechanic support, crane service, towing and winching applications, and more. As a result, the utility and value of equipment painted with the Flatwater Fleet logo is recognized throughout the world. A successful well will initially yield a steady flow of good, clean water. As time passes, however, problems can occur which may cause the well to diminish with respect to production, quality, and value. Flatwater Fleet specializes in well development techniques and equipment designed to restore this asset quickly and inexpensively without drilling a new well. These solutions include methods for problems affecting wells drilled in either rock or sand and gravel. Hydrofracturing is the remedy for a rock well in which very little water is reaching the borehole. Developing the aquifer by hydrofracturing entails expanding Flatwater Fleet's unique frack packer device tightly in the borehole and using a high pressure, high flow pump rapidly injecting a large quantity of clean water below the frack packer. In a matter of minutes, the pressure flushes out sediments and other plugging material, expanding and connecting the network of natural water-bearing fractures. Water jetting is a method for cleaning rock wells and developing plugged well screens in sand and gravel wells. A high-energy jetting device is moved up and down the well, blasting high-pressure water that loosens and cleans material from the borehole or well screen and filter zone. The loose debris is then flushed to the surface so it cannot re-plug these areas. Water jetting can also be employed in rock wells as a very effective method for removing rust, bacterial slime, and scaly deposits. Such contaminants and residues may accumulate over time. By injecting a large amount of high-pressure water, these impurities can be loosened and flushed to the surface. Airlift pumping is another very effective method for removing loose debris from the water well. It is often used in conjunction with water jetting. The airlift pump is set into the bottom of the well. As the air rises to the surface, it will take water and sediments with it. Because the reasons for well deterioration vary from case to case, there is no single method for restoring well productivity. But there is a single solution, the Flatwater Fleet Well Frack System. This self-contained unit can be configured with everything needed to perform all these techniques and more for water well development or servicing. 
The basic well frac system is equipped to perform hydro fracturing and water jetting operations. Further expansion of system capabilities such as water tanks, cranes, compressors and generators are available to fit specific needs or applications. The system's amazing versatility can be observed in typical on-the-job development and servicing procedures. This equipment does not require a large crew. With all models of the Wellfrac system, two people can easily operate the equipment or perform the servicing techniques for most jobs. When operating in developed areas, these compact units can be easily maneuvered into tight quarters. The unit's tool and pipe handling system is absolutely unique. The onboard winch line is connected directly to the Wellfrax lightweight tools, which are raised and lowered over a simple wellhead roller assembly. This permits jetting or hydrofracturing to be accomplished without a crane hoist, and if necessary, at some distance from the wellhead. For water jetting, Flatwater Fleet manufactures customized high-energy jetting tools for well sizes 2 inches and larger. The jetting tool is fitted to Flatwater Fleet's patented high-pressure stainless steel frack pipe. Frack pipe is a truly revolutionary innovation. These durable pipes are small and lightweight. Sections can be handled easily without a hoist. The pipe features hand-tightened joints that permit fast, easy installation and removal. Despite being lightweight, frack pipes are extremely strong. 4,000 PSI pressure, 7 tons pull. Frack pipe is also extremely versatile, being used in all the well servicing and development procedures. Lightweight, easy to use components define this system. Frack pipe is so light that all tools can be raised and lowered using the unit's onboard winching system. The Wellfrack high energy pumping system is both powerful and efficient, designed to deliver the best possible results in the shortest possible time. The key to Flatwater Fleet's superior pumping system is its ability to generate high pressure and high flow simultaneously. There is no transmission, no belts, chains or sprockets. The high torque diesel engine is coupled directly to the pump through a clutch. Flatwater Fleet offers a variety of pump engine combinations to satisfy any need. A unique three-way valve allows the operator infinite control of pressure and flow and safeguards against dangerous high pressure spiking. A compact wellhead cross is easy to handle and easy to assemble. Quick coupling joints connect hose lengths. All pumping pressures and rates, as well as engine functions, are controlled and monitored from a single control station. A synchronized hydraulic-powered charge pump is used to maximize pumping energy. This powerful energy flows directly to the well, as this jetting demonstration clearly illustrates. Once jetting has been completed, piping is brought up so the tool can be removed. To speed the operation, handling the lightweight pipe in longer sections like this makes the job go many times faster. Water jetting is a proven and effective method for flushing loose material from a well. Often jet cleaning may be all that is required to restore production. To increase well production beyond original levels, however, aquifer development must be performed using hydrofracturing. Because the frack packer must be set below the well casing, it is important to locate the depth of the casing before hydrofracturing. The combination water level indicator casing depth probe will find this information. A unique probeless sonic water level indicator is also available from Flatwater Fleet that gives a clear digital readout even when a pump or pipes are set in the hole. Specialized hydrofracturing equipment includes the small, lightweight frack packer unit, which consists of a series of durable rubber donuts. These donuts expand when hydraulically compressed to plug the well bore. The frack packer can be quickly and easily modified to adapt the unit to well sizes ranging from 4 to 12 inches in diameter. Unlike inflatable models, this design has no bladders to blow out, fail, or get stuck. Unlike mechanical models, there are no jaws to break or jam. 
For some technical hydrofracturing applications, a special straddle packer assembly is available which can isolate and pressurize a particular fracture. The frack packer can be lowered with the unit's winch. An integrated high pressure hose reel feeds hosing that will be used to expand the frack packer. The wellhead roller guides the assembly into the hole. The frack packer's design permits easy passage down the hole, even when a pitless adapter unit protrudes into the well casing. Once it is in place below the well casing, the frack packer is quickly expanded with either a hand pump or an electric pump until it has firmly plugged the hole. After the frack packer has been expanded, high pressure water is injected below the packer with the unit's pumping systems. This rapid, uninterrupted flow of energy has been proven most effective for quickly opening and flushing natural fractures. The frack pressure gauge at the control station gives a clear indication when this has been accomplished. In addition to being faster and more effective, the high pressure, high flow combination generally requires less water than other systems. When hydrofracturing is completed, the frack packer releases in seconds. Water can be injected into the well to flush any loosened debris to the surface. After well or aquifer development, test pumping should be done to get an accurate measurement of the increased production. Finally, sanitizing of the water well should be performed after all work is completed to ensure a safe water supply. With Flatwater Fleet well frack systems, all of these procedures have several things in common. Simplicity. The equipment is easy to operate and methods are fast and easy to perform. These are complete systems. Everything required to do the job is included. All equipment is totally self-contained. Tools are well organized, compact and light. Convenient storage bins for pipes and other equipment have been designed into the unit. All functions are controlled from a central control station. The modular design of the Wellfrac system means equipment can be configured to meet the customer's specific needs. An optional hydraulic service crane can aid in the removal of any existing pumping equipment. The crane arm is capable of 360 degree rotation. It features a remote control system that makes operation easy. The crane is also an invaluable aid for general lifting applications or handling of heavy materials. A generator can be included with the unit for operating test pumping equipment. The generator is self-contained so it can be used independently in other applications. The charge pump is another example of the Wellfrac system's amazing versatility. The self-priming charge pump can also function independently as a water loading or water transfer pump. Water for jetting or hydrofracturing can be drawn from an integrated flatbed type water storage tank. Water level in the storage tank is monitored with an easy to read indicator gauge. In many situations, airlift pumping can be used for removing loose material before it has a chance to settle. Flatwater Fleet manufactures a simple yet very effective airlift pump that is lowered into the well using the unit's onboard winch. An optional onboard compressor provides all the air volume and pressure needed to operate the airlift pumping system. Transport options for the Wellfrac system include truck, trailer, or skid-mounted models. Economy. This equipment and these techniques are designed to maximize cost savings, primarily because these methods of well and aquifer development preclude the expensive option of having to drill an entirely new well. In most cases, the only consumable required for development of an existing well is a small quantity of diesel fuel. The various equipment options means the customer purchases only what the job requires. Contractors do not have to repurchase equipment such as hoists, compressors, or water storage tanks that they may already own. And the Wellfrac unit is designed to fit in a standard ocean container for lowest freight rates and maximum protection during shipping. Success rate. These methods have been proven to be effective in applications throughout the world. Years of far-ranging experience have shown that, at a minimum, hydrofracturing can significantly improve the production of most wells. 
it is possible for the yield of a developed well or aquifer to be improved as much as 50-fold. Restoring water quality and quantity with high-pressure water jetting can yield similarly dramatic results. Iron and other deposits can be virtually eliminated. The fact is, almost all wells will experience a diminishing yield over time due to plugging of screens or the aquifer. Flat water fleets, simple, low-cost, well frac systems are the proven way to restore and maintain these valuable assets. The results speak for themselves. Abundant water from existing sources quickly and at a fraction of the cost of drilling new wells.